Franklin, North Knoxville, a cornerstone of Fountain City, literally Corners, Tassel, Pike, and Jacksboro. It's a family business, several generations strong, known for produce and community pride. If you're driving through Fountain City, there is one stop you have to make, and Todd and I know it well. Oh yeah, Pratt's store right here, boy, Fountain City, it is absolutely uh, a wonderful place. And we love to shop here, my wife and I. We come and get some really good stuff here. A lot of fresh produce right now. You see a lot of pumpkins, fall decor, but it's been a staple in this community since the early 1920s. Perry Pratt is joining us. He and his sister run the store these days along with your wife. Um, let's talk about this rich tradition. Well, we're thankful to be here. The Lord has so blessed us. Uh, you know, around here, it's faith, family, and friends. Um, we're proud of our uh, schools and churches, and but Fountain City is, is the people that make it. In the early 20s, my grandfather and his brother would come by here on the way to the market house, where Market Square is, and they saw a store building for sale, two houses, and some acreage. And they bought it and moved here with all their family. What kind of a store was it back then? It was more like you know, Little House on the Prairie is what they had out in Andersonville. <laughs> but, um, so it would be called a mercantile. Uh -huh. And how, I guess, gratifying is that to be able to have your, it your loyal customers who come yeah. in? Yeah, I can't get away with a thing. They, they, <laughs> a lot of them treat me like their grandson or their son. Um, so we go to church with them, grew up with their kids. And, and uh, so it's been a blessing. Well, and, and you guys continue to support this community. That was something very important to your father, Ralph, who really started the concept back up in the 1980s with fresh produce and decor and, and a variety of, of things from, from local farms. Um, talk about him. He passed away this summer. Yeah, he was a great dad. He, you know, that's it's such a gift from God to have a, a good dad. And uh, when his family business closed in 82, um, Pratt's Supermarket, um, they had to settle my grandmother's estate. Some of his uh, siblings wanted in, some wanted out, and so my dad said, listen, we can do this, kids. So he and his brother and one of his sisters pitched in, and uh, so, and my sister and I, and some friends, well, our relationships with our local farmers is the key. You know, we. You know, I'll say, what do you got? And they'll say, what do you need? And they'll say, well, what do you got? And they'll say, well, then we work it out. Perry, not to put you on the spot, yeah. what's your favorite tomato? Cherokee Purple would have to be up there. Um, yeah, and then I, li I like those candy striped tomatoes too, those heirloom tomatoes. Awesome. Uh oh, there right. he goes. Watch out. It's time to eat, Beth. All right, I'm let's, right behind you. Let's load up. Where are those tomatoes, Perry said?